born in a very small town in Germany, Adelsheim, in 1937. And I lived there for two years. And then I was on the kinder transport to England. And I lived in England for eight years with an English family. And then my sisters and I came to this country. We came to Washington, D.C. And I went to junior high and high school in Washington. Do you have any first memories of the war and the effects it had on your family? Well, I don't remember Germany at all, because I left there when I was two. I mean, England, I was very happy in England. I was very spoiled by my foster family. They had one son, and he was very tolerant of me. <laughs> and But I remember, I mean, we had gas masks we took to school, and you had air raids and an air raid shelter. There was rationing, but I wasn't very aware of it. I was the youngest of five siblings, and my three sisters had been going to school in a different city because they couldn't go to school in Germany, in the town where we lived. And they left from Aachen, which is right on the border with Belgium, on a kinder transport in March of 1939. I left in June of 1939. I have no idea who took care of me, because <laughs> clearly somebody did. <laughs> and my brothers stayed with my parents. And they were deported to Gers. They were in both Gers and Rive Salts in France. And my brother came to the United States in 1941. There was a program, the United States allowed a thousand children in 1941, so he came then, and he lived with an aunt and uncle. And my parents were deported to Auschwitz in August of 1942 and murdered as soon as they got there. Do you believe that learning about the Holocaust is important to prevent future genocides or future problems like this? I do think it's important to learn about it. It clearly hasn't stopped future genocide. I mean, I don't think there's been a genocide quite like this one, but I, I do think it's important. And I think the other side of that, there was in studying it, that people learn about the kindness and the goodness that some people exhibited. I mean, not everybody was evil. Right. And that I think they have to learn both sides of it and learn some people are great advocates and can do things with large groups. Some people can only help one person, but I think you have to do what you can do, and I think it's important to learn that. What do you want future generations to embrace from learning about your experience? Well, it's kind of strange. I mean, I don't know my, I didn't know my parents. I was separated from them, but I was very lucky. Clearly, our parents loved us enough to send us away to safety. I lived with a family who loved me dearly in England. And my sisters, I mean, it never occurred to me when I graduated from high school that I couldn't go to college. You know, I have been very blessed to have people who looked out for me. And I think I would like people to learn from my particular experience, that's important to do what I said before, whatever you can do, whether it's an individual thing or a group kind of thing. For the young people, what kind of lessons or messages do you want them to take with them? Well, I would like them to take with them that it's important to get to know people individually and not to make assumptions because people belong to this group or that group, and to have a wide variety of acquaintances, friends, experiences, and not, if you can't meet people, read. Read books about people, read stories that are about people, but get to know many people and many kinds of people. And don't go along with the group. Have your own opinion, and just because somebody in the group says someone else is awful, don't believe <laughs> them. I mean, they may be right, but find out for yourself. That's important for young people yeah. to know. Like, what do you want to give your legacy well, for your uh, children and your grandchildren? Is it more Judaism or just more? Who well, you I would are? like them to be honorable people, mm -hmm. and I think you can be that whether you're Jewish or not. But I would like them to have spirituality in their life, and I think they have to find their own way a little bit. I would like them to look out for other people and not just be concerned with themselves.
But to be aware of things like racism and yeah. anti-Semitism and do what they can do to combat it. What would you want to leave about yourself? What do you want them to, like, that you want everybody to remember about you? That I was willing to share my life and my concerns with people.